Pete Moore and welcome to Gunmark TV. What I have in here is we call a blast from the past but a modern one. This is the Browning Maxis which is now the Maxis Mark 1. Remember when Browning launched this myself and a few other journalists invited to Burkina Faso which is in West Africa which is quite hairy but fun to do upland game shooting and dove shooting with the new Maxis at the time and they had a professional filmmaker there and do a video and this is sort of the latest Browning shotgun. They all sort of hark back to a similar design, but that goes back a long way, but they've refined it. I, I'm, a sh I'm not a shotgunner. I've got a shotgun, and I like semi-autos or pumps. Though I've got a double, which is um, unmittedly an excellent gun, I much prefer semi-autos or pumps, and that's just the way I am. I'm a bit of a hooligan. Okay, the Maxus is great. This is the camo version in Max 4. This one has a 26-inch barrel on it with a vent rib. And it's a little bit short. A lot of people who shoot shotgun in the UK would say it's a little bit on the short side. But Browning do supply what they call a turkey choke, which is a screws in and it gives you an extra two inches of tube. So effectively, you can turn this gun into a 28 inch very quickly. It's a gas piston gun, and it's what they call a, it's self-adjusting. So the gas piston system, when it fires, gas goes up the barrel. We'll take the forehand off in a minute and show you what I mean. Goes up the barrel, gas comes down, and it pushes the pushes the operating rods and piston back to cycle the action and if there's not enough gas power it, it won't work until there is it's all in fractions and fractions of a second but that's how it works that's how most self-regulating guns work these days and it's not bad because it means you can shoot a wider range of cartridge certainly in terms of power the controls are pretty standard though it does take something from the old a5 browning this is safety catch it's a cross bolt style as you can see that's in safe mode press it across and it's in fire mode and you can see a red line there indicating that trigger is typically set well back it's gold plated or at least looks like gold smooth and wide a very nice large trigger guard which means you can get a glove finger in it for the winter in terms of controls you've got a bolt release so there's, there's different ways of loading the gun Press that, and you watch that. That goes up and down, that's the shell lifter. On the other side, you have something from the old A5 Brown and that goes back over 100 years. It's called a magazine cutoff. Essentially speaking, if you've got a mag full of shells and you want to change shells, just say you see a ball, you want to put a slug in and you've got number five for shooting birds, what you do, you flick that and it locks off the magazine. If you look in there, you can see it's locked off the magazine and the magazine will not feed. And so you can, you can eject the shell, drop, say, the slug in, press it, boom, and it's there. The gun will reload, or sorry, the gun will recoil and lock back, but it won't reload until you then remove this, and then, and then it will. You see on this typical European gun, here you have like sort of semi dovetail cutouts for a scope, again in Europe. Semi-autos are very popular for bore shooting with slug and pull little red dots on them. Sighting-wise, it's dead simple for a shotgun. Got this nice vent rib here, and this is the bead. It's a nice big red, Dayglow red bead. When the gun comes out the box, you have a series of beads in different colours you can put in. I think it's green, it's yellow, I think it's blue. And you just literally this pops out, slide it in. That's quite nice. The butt, again, a generous pistol grip, and typically. For a semi-auto a very low cone because you are sort of shooting like this and you need to get your head right down to it and at the back as with all browning things you have a nice inflex recoil pad which really does soak up the recoil and spaces and i'm quite long in the arm so you can see the spaces are pretty much what i need to be it's reasonably recoil friendly i've done a fair bit of um, simulated game shooting with lots of different traps around the farm which is great fun and i've done 600 rounds in a day and haven't felt any real pain at the end of the day, which is pretty good. One thing about the gun, which is a bit unusual, which leads me on to where we're going with it, is unlike most semi-autos, for all of them, that have a magazine tube and they have an end cap and unscrews, so you can, if you want to unscrew the end cap and get an extension magazine if you want more capacity with a larger spring. On the Maxus, you can't do this. Instead, it has what I call an Anson Dealey type latch, which is this, you press that catch in, pop it up, and it comes away. So 
the capacity on this is a section one gun it's four plus one if you look here you can see how it works the gas comes down through here as i said before it pushes on this and it knocks this back that's like a little push rod on a lot of semi-autos like 1100 1187 remington they have big steel rods they're called action rods that push this back which take time they're slower so this thing is like a tap it hits this and this goes back at incredibly high speed see just knocks the bolt open and then overcomes the inertia of the bolt and it opens and cycles and there's a return spring in the butt it's quite unusual but it works but anyway that's the maxis say i took it to burkina faso had a great time with it and all you do is put this back down here lock it on and unusually the slings wheel fits through here it's a bit weird at the front this is now obsolete as such those have got spares and things they've gone to the maxis 2 which i've been promised one from browning in europe very soon and all they've done from i can see i could be wrong but pretty much all, I've, all they've done this whole four end system with the answer the detach is gone and instead you have a very simple barrel ring four end and a magazine end cap unscrews and i think it's a better idea i've never really wanted more than four plus one in this because i don't i wouldn't shoot practical with this but you could do because it's a nice gun smooth shooting and all they've done is basically make it like a conventional semi-auto in terms of how you strip it and put it apart but that's it we'll see it shooting but it's reasonably healthy it seems to eat most things and it is despite the fact i have a very posh browning shotgun over and under this is my favorite gun for doing anything with clays pigeon you name it simulated or just real game and i've got to say i say had it since 2008 so now it's what that's 12 14 years and it hasn't let me down and it's done a lot of ammo and i'm hoping and assuming that the maxis 2 when i get it will be just the same okay should have popped a few rounds through this one thing about the maxis it, again it takes from the old browning a5 auto it has a speed load facility which is really good when you're shooting doves in bikini they're coming in thick and fast obviously you're bound into ammunition and you don't want to lose sight of anything so i used to stand like this with a gun like this looking and what you do if you look very carefully i'll show you here with the action open get your round drop it down and you push it forward and all of a sudden you watch what happens the it takes the cartridge flips up the shell lifter and you can see we have a round in the chamber and then from there we just go in one two three we should get four in here just about see most uk guns they'll be what they call section two which is two rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber okay we're all bombed up ready to go safety's on so bring her up and shoot okay that's five rounds of uh, number eight it's a clay load but uh, it functions this thing shoots everything from slug to number eights and all sorts it's really good i said recoil's good i like this old girl i don't think i'll swap it for a mark ii but uh say so when we look at the mark ii we'll see the differences so there you are the browning maxis a legend in its own lunchtime it's pete moore signing off support the website if you like what you see tell your friends and then if you need to speak to me about anything then it's the usual pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com and i'll see you later